tired. So when you're tired, yeah. the emotions are coming out even more. And you know that if you start to have doubts, the level is going to drop. You know if you start to think a little bit too much of what you want to do, or what you're going to do, or how you're going to do it, it's going to be a different match. And there is, for me, it's always been like a big puzzle. You have to put all the pieces together to play your best level. Mm. And in my career, it took me so many years to get there at my best. And... And I knew, I, I knew at that time that when I was feeling good with every aspect of, of the game, but not only tennis, mentally, physically, then I was the best player I could be. And, yeah. But it's, it, it, ask, it takes so much to, to get there, but not, people see only the match. But for me, it takes so much in the practice, in the practice session to push myself to know that when I'm going to be in a big match, it's going to come. It's going to be automatic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do things without getting in trouble mentally. And how, uh, how did your uh, private life and everything that you experienced, you know, with your family or privately, let's say, off the court, affect your performance on the court and everything is happening? Because for me, personally, I always believed uh, in the holistic approach to life. I mean, I, I, I can't separate, even though I understand that you know, throughout my life, I also had people that were telling me, you have to separate and differentiate yourself. So you have to separate these two. I, uh, for me, it was uh, uh, never really uh, something that resonated with me, if you know what I mean, because I'm the same person that I'm on the court. I'm, I'm also the same Novak off the court. So, yeah. of course, that I have a professional transformation when I'm on the court and turn into a warrior. But, uh, but at the same time, I, I just felt that everything that I was experiencing in life was, um, was transferring to the court and how I felt on the court, how I was able to uh, keep my concentration, intensity, recovery, and so forth. How, how, how was it for you? No, I think the private life always affects the way you feel it because it's, again, about the emotion, about the way you feel mentally. But I think during my career, at times, at tournaments, I could get into my bubble. And I was really, doesn't matter what was happening outside, I, I, I find a way with myself to be okay. When I'm on the court, there is nothing can affect me. Nothing else mm -hmm. is going to affect me. But this is only a few tournaments, so I'm basically counting the Grand Slam. But yeah. The rest of the time is, uh, is really tough to, to, to completely separate your private life or what you're doing outside the court, off court. It, it's always going to affect you on the court, I feel. Oh, for sure, for sure. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, what is, what is the biggest motivation for you now? Uh, at this stage of your uh, career uh, and your life as a tennis player, what what motivates you the most on the on the tour or so forth? Or was is it traveling? Is it achievements? Is it something else? For for me, first, since I came back from the surgery, but since I came back at the level, I feel good with it. So that means basically since since last year, when I feel good on the court, I feel like I appreciate much more what I'm doing and what I'm I'm achieving because before that. I always felt that you run about the next tournament, you run about the next match. You don't have time to appreciate the way you're playing or what you're winning or not. And that's for my career. And so now I appreciate much more. What really motivates me is the emotion I get on the court with people, with the fans. Uh, I feel like last year was one of my best year, emotion-wise on the court, French Open. I had an amazing crowd with me or against me and many tournaments. And that's something that I really enjoy. Uh, my dream is to win more tournaments. That's for sure, because uh, last one was a long time ago. That's one of, of my goal. And again, is those emotions, but not only on the court, but also the pressure you feel and the way you build yourself as a player. Mm. Always, I'm a big believing in trust the process do the work you need and it's going to pay off sooner or later. And that's really what I want to keep pushing myself to. But right now is not the time you really push yourself. But yeah. Yeah.
Well, yeah, you're right. You have to kind of pace yourself, you know, and I, I, I'm a big believer in work smart, not just work hard. I think, you know, each one of us is, is, uh, is different in, in our own individual special way. And so we all have uh, different bodies that require different things, different amount of work, specific work and so forth. We were actually, uh, Andy and I were speaking about that yesterday, the, the, the very same thing that you said, the, the appreciation for uh, everything that you're experiencing on the court. And because of the constant... Uh, um, uh, competition, the constant travel, adrenaline, um, expectations, pressure that you pose on yourself, that you feel from the environment, you're, you're on the road constantly, as, especially if you're at the, at the top, uh, uh, you're expected to win most of your matches. So you move from one tournament to another in literally few days time, you have to change the surface, you have to change the country, the continent, you don't have time even to celebrate a big win because you know, you have like, for example, uh, Madrid, Rome, back to back. So you have to travel the, very, the next same evening or the next day. So, you know, those are little perks of, of tennis, which, uh, of course, make our sport very special. But at the same time, it, 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 you're right. Uh, it, it, has, it reminds us, you know, I, I think this kind of time where we don't compete and we have several months, I feel like uh, it, it's a great